In this video, we're going to learn about class variables in C++. So class variables are also known as static member variables. And we can contrast these variables with regular member variables. So regular member variables are tied to each object instance, whereas class variables or static member variables are attached to the class as if the class itself has a variable. Another name for the regular member variables is actually instance variables because these variables are attached to each object instance of the class. So let's go over an example here. We'll make a class for representing animals. And we'll give the animal objects a regular instance member variable called species. And it will be public. So we'll say string species. We'll make a constructor to set this as well. So we'll say animal and we'll say string animal species. And we'll set the member variable species to animal species. Now, if we make animal object instances, each object instance can have a potentially different species. So we'll say here animal star lion is equal to new animal. And we'll say lion. And then we'll say animal star tiger is equal to new animal tiger. And if we output this member variable for each one of these objects here, we're going to see that it's different for each object because this type of member variable is attached to the object. So we'll say C out and we'll say lion colon and we'll output lion and the species member variable. And then we'll say C out tiger and we'll output the tiger species member variable. And so we'll save this now and we'll run it and we'll get lion, lion, tiger, tiger. And that's because these member variables are tied to the object instance. Now a static member variable or a class variable is tied to the class. So how do we make these? Up here, we'll say static int total. This is saying that we're gonna have a static member variable that's going to be an integer and it's gonna be called total. Now this variable is gonna be connected to the class animal. We can actually initialize this variable outside of the class definition. So here we'll say int animal colon colon total is equal to zero. And that will initialize that variable to zero. Now we can access this variable using the syntax in our main function here, or really wherever else. So let's do that. Let's here output total. We'll say C out total colon, and we'll output animal colon colon total and line. And if we save and run this, we're just gonna get a total of zero. But we could use our class variable to do something useful. Like say, for example, keep track of the number of instances of the class. So in our constructor here, we could say total plus plus. And every time we create an animal object, we're going to be increasing this total that's going to keep track of how many animal objects there are. So now if we save and run this program, we're going to get a total of two. And if we did make another animal object, the total would go up to three. So here we'll say animal star bear is equal to new animal. And we'll say bear. And then we'll output the total again. So we'll say C out total colon output animal colon colon total and line. And now we'll get a total of three here. So this is how we could practically use a class variable to keep track of some information that is actually important about our class. Now, one thing we could do is we could actually access the class variable from an object instance. So here, when we output the total, I could say here, tiger total, instead of animal colon colon total. And if I save and run this, it will work. We will still get total three. As a best practice, it's considered better to use the class name colon colon syntax to access a class variable. 
Now we have this warning here, unused variable bear. So one thing we do with dynamically allocated objects like this is we delete them once we're done working with them. So let's do that here. We'll say delete. And let's say we delete lion. We ideally should be able to output a total now that will only be two because we've just deleted the lion object. But if we save and run this, we're still gonna get total three here. So what we'll do is make a destructor that's also gonna manage this class variable. So here we'll say animal, and we'll say total minus minus. So every time the destructor runs and an animal object is deleted, we're gonna decrease the total. So now if we run this code here, we're gonna get total two. If we were to delete the other animals, so we'll delete the tiger and delete the bear, and then we will put the total again, we should get a total of zero now. And we do. So just one more thing I'll show you. We actually had to initialize this class variable outside the class definition. If we tried to do it inside the class definition like this, we would get an error. That's not allowed. So we actually have to do it this way. The one exception is if it's a const class variable. So we said here const string and we said planet is equal to earth and we save and ran this, that's actually okay. And so we are allowed to initialize a const class variable inside the class definition. So this has been the basics of class variables, otherwise known as static member variables in C++. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.